Okay, and we are recording. Hello, everybody. It is I, Leo Hightower, and I want to wish you a very warm welcome back to Skunk and the Sanctuary. This is part two. I'm your host, Leo Hightower, and in the last episode, we got familiarized with Skunk and our stay in the Sanctuary, and I believe in the last episode we left off on, we were... Uh, Skunk was being taken to the uh, Sanctuary uh, Medical Hospital, and we are going to pick right up from where we left off. Thank goodness. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to continue my live reading of this, and this time around, we have sound. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm testing out my new microphone arm and everything, so I hope you guys can hear me loud and clear and everything. So now I don't have to lean forward in order to actually uh, speak into my microphone. But anyway, let me look at this scenery real quick. I'll say this is really impressive. The phone, the little TVs, the clock at the top, and the little laptop monitor. This is just simply marvelous. Oh, and before I begin, if you guys want to take a look at Skunk in the Sanctuary yourself, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But for now, let's get started, shall we? <coughs> what was that? Skunk, are you not feeling well? Oh, oh, stars above. That was Skunk. I don't want to be cursed. Vulture? Uh, someone who knows about Skunk, huh? Oh boy. Hello. So yeah, this and uh, vert, 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 vulture again. Hey, vulture. Would you mind taking a look at Skunk? She seems to be under the weather. Skunk. Uh... Vulture puts her hand on Skunk's forehead. Oh, that's quite a fever. Best to keep her here for a few days. Are you sure you're comfortable with that? I'll let you know if she becomes difficult, but I'm not too worried about anything like that. Alright, well don't hesitate to come get me for any reason. Dog puts her hand on Skunk's head. Hey, a Skunk. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Don't worry, you're in good hands with Vulture. Mm-hmm. Now Vulture, Skunk is new here, and she's been under a great deal of stress. I trust your previous encounter with her won't influence your judgment. I'm a professional. Besides that, besides that, I'm already told you, I bear no grudge against her. <laughs> Skunk, are you scared? <laughs> she nods. Skunk, listen to me. I'm not your enemy. You wronged me, but I forgive you. Everything is okay. I have no desire whatsoever to harm you. I'd like to help you. Please, will you give me a chance? Skunk nods. Fantastic! I'm glad to hear that. I will check in on you periodically while you're here, so don't worry. I'm afraid I do have to go... I'm afraid I do have to go, though. If you need anything, Vulture will be able to help you. Dog hug Skunk. Aww. Get well soon. Mm-hmm. Finally, she's gone. Looks like it's just you and me now. Uh-oh. Got them crazy eyes. She got the crazy eyes! Vulture puts her hand on Skunk's head. I'm only kidding. Dap. Ah, it's good to see you again. I had to be prisoner last time, so it's only fair that it's your turn or now, right? <laughs> Laughs weakly. Well, I'm glad to see that you can laugh at yourself. Don't worry, it's really not so bad here. Have you eaten? 
Skunk shakes her head. How about some soup and buttered bread? We've got chicken noodle, tomato, lentil, minestra, len <coughs> lentil, and would you like the bread toasted? Uh, nods head. All right, lentil soup and butter toast. I'll have that for you in just a few minutes. The TV remote is on your left, and there's a radio there too. Skunk turns on the TV. I'm Dale Breadquilt, and this is the Breadquilt Report. Joining us today is the famous hero, Casino Greatleaf. Mm. So I understand you and your allies confronted Skunk in her own domain and brought her to justice. That we did, Dale. She's locked up secret securely in the Divine Sanctuary, where she'll spend the rest of her days reflecting on what she's done. But it came at a price, didn't it? Alas, it did. The monster placed a curse on me, one that has stayed with me even after her defeat. Our viewers at home may be wondering why I'm interviewing you from a distance. Casino Greatleaf has been cursed with an incredibly foul order, and despite her best efforts, no amount of bathing or perfume can contend with it. Oh, so Skunk placed a curse on Casino during her last confrontation with her. I bet she probably smells pretty skunkish, if you know what I mean. I visited several expert curse breakers. All of them have told me that this curse is both everlasting and unbreakable. What sort of impact has it had on your life? To be honest, it's a living hell. I feel like a prisoner in my own body. It's hard to sleep at night. I feel anxious and frustrated. I wish I could just get away from myself. And I'm stuck like this. Uh, uh, Scooby. If you could do it all over again, would you have let Skunk alone? Absolutely not. She was a menace and needed to be stopped. Protecting the world from people like her is too important. A noble sacrifice indeed. Thank you for sitting down with us today. Skunk turns off the TV. I don't blame you, Skunk. I'm sorry. Hmm. Skunk turns on the radio. With us today is the lovely Jenna Monell. So why don't you tell us about your latest role? I'm going to be playing the role of Skunk in Jason Bre Barton's upcoming play, Curse Castle. Sounds exciting. It's been quite a challenge. I've been reading about her nonstop as well as talking to people who have met her. I've also been working on arranging a meeting with her. It's important to me to be able to really capture the essence of the characters I'm playing. I think it's especially important when you're portraying real-life individuals. Talk about dedication to your craft. You must be at least a little intimidated, right? Oh, more than a little, but at the same time excited for the chance to finally meet her. I played numerous villains, but this is the role I've been, always been most eager to do. Why is that? She's cool and mysterious, attractive yet repulsive. She's com simply a fascinating individual who captures the imagination. Hmm. I can understand that. I can understand that. You try to get into a role and you want to learn everything you need to know about the individual that you're going to be playing as and everything. You want to learn about their likes, their dislikes, their personality, their charm, their wit, everything. So I can totally understand that. When can we look forward to seeing Curse Castle? We're aiming for sometime late next year. Performances will be in Mellow Dusk for the first three months, and then we'll be taking the show all over that. Well, thank you for joining us. We've got a great show for you tonight, including a live performance, but... Skunk turns off the radio. Hmm... Hey, I'm back. Vulture's carrying a bowl of soup and a plate of toast. Vulture places a tray over a skunk and then places food on top. Thanks. Here's some bottled water. Make sure to drink plenty of liquids. Need anything else? I think I'm okay. Cool. 
Press this button when you're done eating. I'll come back to take your dishes and get you some medicine, alright? Okay, thanks. A few minutes later... You done? Mm-hmm. Nods. Here, this potion will help. It's not very tasty, so you might want to chug it down quickly. Make sure to drink all of it. Skunk drinks the potion. Ugh. Very good. That potion should make you drowsy soon. Skunk washes it down with a lot of water. Uh. Hmm? What's going on? Hmm? Skunk starts getting up. Vulture puts her hands on Skunk's shoulders and pushes her back down. And where do you think you're going? I need to go! Go? No, you need to stay here. That's what you need to do. I really need to go! I'm warning you, get back in that bed right now, or... Huh. <sighs> Great. Vulture sits on Skunk's back. <laughs> hey! Dog is on her way here to deal with you. I hope you're proud of yourself. Is it really that hard for you to behave? I just want to use the bathroom! Why are you so cruel? Oh! Huh? <sighs> There's Dog. I came as quick as I could. Vulture, are you okay? What happened? Sorry, it was a misunderstanding. I thought she was trying to escape, but... Please... Would you... Would you mind helping her to the bathroom? Sure. Oh, dear. She had to use the restroom. Eh. <laughs> mm. Mm, yeah, I'd be pretty embarrassed, too. Oh, if one of my patients started acting like that, then they said they had to use the restroom, I'd be like, Oh! Oh! I'd be like, my bad. Uh, uh yeah. So, <laughs> damn. That must have been awkward. She just, she tried to dart out of bed. I tried to stop her, and she cried uh, that she needed to go. I didn't realize she meant... <laughs> Y'all better now? Here, let me help you. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Dog hugs vulture. <laughs> I'm just glad everything is okay. You know, Skunk doesn't have clearance to leave medical, and you have control over whatever sh over where she can go in. Where, here. You don't need to worry about her going anywhere she shouldn't. It it sort of just slipped my mind and I panicked. I'm really messed up. I'm sorry. You're fine. I completely understand. Don't sweat it, okay? Thanks. Dog puts her hand on Skunk's head. You poor thing. Is there anything I can do for you? She's sleeping. Oh, she's out cold. Well, I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Don't hesitate to call me for any reason, even if it's another false alarm. I better get back to other matters now that Skunk's drifted off to Dreamland. Shut the lights off. 
<laughs> Sleep tight, skunk. One week later... Good morning, skunk. You're looking well. I'm still feeling pretty weak, but I think I've gotten over being sick. Thank you so much for taking care of me. Aww. Of course, I'm a healer. It's what I do. I imagine you're eager to get out of this cramped little medical room and back to your own place. Mmm. My, my own place? What's wrong? Uh, you can stay here if you really want to, but wouldn't you rather be back in your own room? Uh... You've gotten a beautiful, spacious room, a luxury canopy bed, your own kitchen, a bath and shower combo, a desk. You don't really want to stay in this sterile little room on this hard little medical bed, do you? I don't want to be alone. Alone? If I go back to my room, I'll be completely alone, trapped in that room with nobody to interact with. Is that what you're worried about? There's no rule saying I can't hang out with you in your own room. But you're the lead doctor. So? So you don't have time to do fl fl uh, frivolous stuff like keep me company just because I'm lonely. My job is to take care of major tasks that other staff members aren't willing or able to handle. I'm not some overseer that handles boatloads of paperwork. Sometimes I'll help supervise and train people, but I'm not required to do that. I have way more free time than the rest of the staff. I only spend as much time here as I do because I want to. Hmm. Do you know why I'm here at the sanctuary? To make a difference? Well, you're not wrong. But I'm here because of you. I came here specifically to be your social worker. Doc agreed to do this under the condition that I agreed to be lead doctor. Oh. What? I guess Doc didn't tell you. When I heard that you have been captured and imprisoned at the Divine Sanctuary, I decided to make my way here to try and help you. Hmm. Huh. Help me? But why? All I did was hurt you. Oh, flashback time. It's true you did hurt me. You captured me and the other villagers and locked us up in that castle. It was terrifying and miserable. Mm. I stopped eating. I stopped caring. I completely given up hope. I didn't think that you had a shred of good in you. But then you took pity on me. You felt guilt for the harm you caused me. You gave your... You gave me your own dinner and talked to me. I didn't dare beg for my freedom, but I knew you were skilled with ice magic and thought you m might at least help persevere my perishable medical supplies with ice. I wasn't expecting you to do even that, but you did. And when I talked to you, you felt bad and started crying. You turned away to try and keep me from noticing. Oh. You gave me some rations for the road, and then you told me to leave before you changed your mind. Oh, okay. Well, that explains a lot. Hmm. Wow. I never knew that. Huh. Also, I really like the faces of Skunk and Vulture, and the sprites, too. That's really, really nice. Envy does a pretty good job of... Characterizing Scythe you battle and character sprites and stuff like that. I really gotta get into that sometime. Especially if I'm doing uh, expressions and stuff like that. Especially with my faces. For my characters and other little things. Like Kenshin, uh, Jin, Reina, and the others. That's pretty good. Anyway. <clears throat> back to the uh, story. A heartless monster wouldn't have done those things. Underneath all of that anger and cruelty was a kind-hearted person in a great deal of pain. I saw the real you. Ha 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 ha. Scooby.
part of me was terrified of you and hoped we'd never have to cross paths again, but the healer in me saw so much potential in you to be a good person. So when I heard you'd been captured, I was concerned. The world only knew you as a heartless demon that cursed anybody with the great misfortune of crossing your path. But I saw a gentle goddess who wanted to feel safe and have a sense of belonging. Hmm. Hmm. If it was within these beliefs that I came here, with the intention of helping you find a better path in life and ensuring that you are treated fairly, when I arrived, I discovered that you had not yet regenerated. You were intentionally placed in your own room, but Dragon sent in order to keep you sealed until his arrival. You were to be transferred to the Crystal Palatus. Your soul crystal was to be sealed away for all eternity. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Woo-wee! I told Doc the story of my encounter with you, and I was able to convince her to give you a fair chance at new life here in the Divine Sanctuary. I won't lie, there's still the risk that Dragon won't allow you to stay here. He made it very clear that he is not happy at all with Dog going against his orders. But Dog and I both believe we are doing the right thing. We both believe in you. We want to see you prosper, and we intend to do everything we can to protect you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be... and sent to... I... I owe you my life. Skunkhog's Vulture. Aww. Thank you, Vulture. I won't let you down. Some days will be harder than others, but if you can behave yourself, you'll be able to make friends and live a comfortable and peaceful life here. When you run into problems, Dong and I will help you. It will be here to help you. Eve, every step of the way. You are not alone anymore. Mm-hmm. Aww. So, what do you say? I'll call Dog to take you back to your room, and we can both hang out together. I'll even stay the night if you'd like. I like that. Alright, let's go ahead and give her a call. Vulture, is everything alright? Oh yes, I've just been here talking to Skunk. Hi, Dog. Hello there, Skunk. Skunk is ready to return to her room now, and I'd like to keep her company for a while. Of course, I'll be right over. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's really nice with the little intercoms. Ding ding and ding dong. That's really nice. That's really nice. Nice attention to detail, skunk. You guys ready to go? Skunk and vulture nod. And there they go. I really like the little music here. It's really nice. R very nice. Come on in. Vulture, I granted you new security privileges. You will be able to take Skunk out of her room, but only around the block and in the garden. She's not to be outside of her room without your supervision. I understand. And Skunk, I expect you to be respectful and do as Vulture tells you to do. Of course, I know my place. You guys are in charge. Remember to take Skunk back to her room and enable the barrier when you're done watching her. And keep the barrier enabled while you're inside. That's all a bit strict, isn't it? She's not particularly violent, a violent offender. Even Wolf had less security than that. Dragon's orders were quite strict. He really doesn't want her to leave her room at all. It's probably best to wait for him to arrive before pushing our luck. Woo! This dragon sounds like a really, 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 really strict person. Oh, man. It's okay. I'm grateful just to be treated as gently and lenient as you have been treating me. Don't worry, this won't be forever. Soon you'll be able to freely go about the sanctuary and living here won't feel so oppressive anymore. Thank you. It really helps to hear you say that. Of course, just stay strong and have faith and try to bear with it until then. 
Would you guys like me to get you anything? I can bring over a couch, a television, some movies, whatever else you want. It's no problem at all. Hmm. Uh, that sounds like a nice way to spend the day, Vulture. Sounds good to me. We can put on a pizza, pop some popcorn, maybe watch a comedy. You probably could uh, use a good laugh, right? <laughs> uh, you're making me want to join. The more the merrier. I'm afraid I can't. There's work to be done, and other people who need me. But you got Vulture to keep you company, so I'm sure you'll both have a good time. Thank you, both of you. Of course, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure having you here with us. Mm-hmm. I'll be back soon with that in entertainment stuff. See you soon! And there goes Dog. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Of course, I know what it's like to be locked up in some strange place all alone. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I've gotten over it, more or less, bearing the occasional bad dream. You're such a... You're such a kind and forgiving person. I'm ashamed of myself for putting you through that. I was miserable and wanted everybody else to be miserable. That's not the person I want to be anymore. I, can, I can't undo what I've done, but I'll try to make amends. I want to be a good friend to you. I really do. But I don't know if I can. I've been bad for so long. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I've heard a little bit about your exploits and everything like that. So, yeah. But I am very thankful that you do want to reform and everything, skunk. It really, really, really means a lot. So, I think you're in good hands. So, don't worry. Give yourself some credit. You've been doing very well. We'll help you t work through your issues at your own pace. Maybe living here won't be so bad after all. Vulture Hug Skunk. There's a lot to like about living here. Good food to eat, a comfy bed to sleep in, no more having to hide from bounty hunters. And best of all, I have two caring and wonderful friends now. Aww! <laughs> I'm glad you consider me a friend. Of course, I consider you a friend. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you. Just to be clear, you do understand that being my friend doesn't mean I won't punish you for misbehaving, right? I know. And as your friend, I won't... I wouldn't want to get you into trouble anyway. You treat me well, and you don't abuse your power. I respect you as a friend and as an authority figure. Hmm, 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 hmm. I just wanted to make sure we have an understanding. Oh, dog's back. I have this all set up for you in a jiffy. Okay. There you are. Your very entertainment system. So what do you think? Oh, it's lovely. It's yours to keep, so take good care of it. You're, you're letting me keep all of this? Well, the videos are from the library. But as for the couch, table, and television, you can keep those in here as long as you like. Uh... It's really not a big deal. They're standard issue for well-behaved and non-destructible inmates. You've been very polite, so you've earned this. I mean, earned them. Skunk Hunk's dog. Thank you. Of course, sweetie. <laughs> I promised Kiwi I'd take her to the cafe to treat her to a chocolate malt. So, she's probably wondering where I am right now. Vulture should be able to tend to most of your wants and needs, but if you, either of you need anything, please don't hesitate to give a call. Thank you for keeping Skunk Company. I hope you both have a great time today. I hope you have a great day today, too. I hope so, too. You deserve it. Uh, you guys. Dog Hunks Vulture. Take care, you two. <sighs> that must be the little tyke right there. Well, hello there, Wheat. 
Hello there, dog, and hello, Kiwi. Mm -hmm. Go on through, take a seat. Thank you. As much as I want to continue this, I think I'm gonna stop right here and call it a session as soon as uh, Dog and Kiwi get settled in and everything like that. But for now, I'm gonna call it a session and everything like that. As soon as we get to a good stopping point right here and everything. But for those of you who are watching and everything, thank you guys very much for joining me on this newest episode of Leo looking at or reacting to Skunk in the Sanctuary. I thank you guys truthfully from the bottom of my heart. I'll leave a link to the whole entire game and story in the description box below. I'll continue this another time. But for now, this is Leo Hightower, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, I hope you all will stay golden. Until then, peace!